The city of Sirkap was built by the Greco-Bactrian King Demetrius after he invaded modern-day Pakistan around 180 BC. This was a well-planned city and it shows three periods. First one was of Greeks, second one Ashoka and third period shows Parthians. Sirkap is also said to have been rebuilt by King Menander I. Now, in the beginning of the city, there was a preserved well and on its right side, there was fortification walls which was surrounded by a city wall with the length of approximately 5 km or 6,000 yards. Due to its characteristic gradient planning, it has been associated with Hellenistic cities. There were guard rooms located at the entrance to the city for the safety of residents. Next, moving forward, there were main streets and residential areas. One round stupa is present, which is one of the oldest stupas in Indian subcontinent. It is assumed that this stupa was uprooted and thrown to its present location by a strong earthquake in the 1st century AD. This was called votive stupa for the reason that they put ashes of religious person in between when he dies. This was basically the sundial and it belongs from 1st century BC and 2nd century BC. So basically they used to see time with the help of sun. They used to stand in the middle and with the help of shadow they used to calculate the time. This Jain temple is badly ruined and nothing of the superstructure survives. The pre columns with line ornamentation that X on the four corners were brought here from the ruins of courtyard. A.G. Lone, who was an archaeologist who discovered B.C. era limbs from a Jain temple in the area during 2004 and 5 at Sirkap. A special stupa at Sirikap called Double-Headed Eagle Stupa where the pilasters are of Greek design. In the middle arch, a Greek temple is shown. In the outer shrine, a Hindu design can be seen. On the top of this double-headed eagle is seated from which the name of the stupa has been derivated. This was the palace where Sir Thomas stayed. Sirkap was destroyed by a great earthquake in the 40 AD and then taken over by the mysterious European-looking Central Asian Kushan. 